It is very important for equine veterinarians to be well-versed in antimicrobial stewardship and to be good stewards of antimicrobial use because they are the front line of use of these drugs in equine patients. Resistance to these drugs has been rapidly evolving and is clinically limiting the choices we have to treat serious infections in animal and human patients. And appropriate antimicrobial stewardship is going to preserve the useful life of these drugs in the face of this ongoing development of resistance in pathogenic bacteria. In our, in our fast of practice, we really can't afford to limit the number of drugs that we have available to treat these infections. And so being good stewards of these drugs in our practice is critically important. There's lots of ways, many, many strategies by which equine veterinarians can be good stewards of antimicrobials. First of all, limiting use of these drugs to an established veterinary client-patient relationship, and they should be administered at the prescribed dose for the prescribed frequency. And these decisions about dose and frequency and whether or not to use an antimicrobial drug shouldn't be left in the hands of clients who aren't properly trained to make those decisions. Another way that we can maximize utility of these drugs in a, and, and practice good stewardship is to use localized treatment where it's an option as opposed to systemic treatment. For example, in equine practice, we use an awful lot of regional limb perfusion for treatment of orthopedic sepsis, um, distal limb wounds, things like that. And so using that strategy when it's available, when it's appropriate, may help decrease the exposure of the rest of the animal and the environment to antimicrobial drug residues over time. Veterinarians are also well positioned to practice good diagnostic stewardship. And if we're going to use antimicrobial drugs, we should do that in the context of an effective diagnosis. So if we're going to effectively treat an animal, establishing whether or not their disease has a bacterial etiology is step one for using antimicrobial drugs effectively. Good practices to control infection in operating rooms don't necessarily always rely on heavy use of antimicrobial drugs. For example, clean and relatively minor procedures may not require any antimicrobial use at all, prophylactic or otherwise. And if prophylactic antimicrobials are going to be used for a complex procedure or for an anticipated contaminated procedure, initiating that course of drugs before the procedure is initiated or started is important. Help us keep antibiotics useful for both animals and humans.